interest has been building up in my little mind over several years. Doesn't take long. No, it doesn't take <laughs> Nothing happens quickly with me. And uh, I've recently got interested in, in narrow gauge railways, the great little trains of Wales. And I've discovered there are literally millions and millions of steam fanatics up and down this country. I've got a friend in Liverpool who helped me with this. His name's Jim Peden. All his mates call him Puffer Peden. I'd hate to be called Puffer, wouldn't you? <laughs> but he, he, he gave me some help when I was making this song up because one of the, the uh, well, my favourite narrow gauge railway is one that runs from Port Maddock on the coast in North Wales about 14 miles inland and into Snowdonia. To, to place Kleiner Festinjok. Festinjok. That's where for many countless years they've been digging out slate. And they exported this slate all over the world, down, down to south of Patagonia where they still speak Welsh. Don't know why they speak Welsh in South America, but they do. <laughs> and Hamburg, you know, before the war, Hamburg was completely roofed in Welsh slate. And then we bombed it all off. <laughs> Do anything for another order, but we never got it. <laughs> it was a very, very successful railway line, and the, the, the crunch really came in about 1870 when uh, they needed a stronger engine because the, the, they were, by this time they were carrying passengers as well as the slate, and uh, they couldn't really build a, a, a bigger engine because the curves of the track were too acute. And uh, Paul, uh, if you extend the boiler of a, a locomotive, it wouldn't be able to get round these curves. So they had a competition, and a Scots fella called Fairley invented a weird steam engine, which he called the Fairley duplex engine. <laughs> it's an amazing thing. This is an amazing thing. It's got two boilers, one at each end. It's got two chimneys, one at each end. The, the, man in, uh, the driver stands in the middle, and he has to fire two fires and everything. Everything's double. And this is the song about when they tested this locomotive against the biggest and strongest one that they had in their existing stock. Here we go. The fairly duplex engine. Like Trumpton music, this, isn't it? <laughs> Come all you jolly quarrymen, lend to me an ear. 1870, a very special year. It's all about a contest Mr. Spooner has arranged Between two iron horses, one familiar and one strange We're going to Port Maddock, we're going to see the trials Everyone's on holiday, the people travelled miles The railway's got this loco, the queerest ever seen The fairly duplex engine, whatever that may mean When I saw it at the loco shed, I thought I'd lost me mind. Two front ends together and no tender on behind. The footplate's in the middle and everything is doubled. A forearm driver's needed, there's two fires and two shovels. We're going to Port Maddock, we're going to see the trials. Everyone's on holiday, the people travel miles. The railway's got this loco, the queerest ever seen. The fairly duplex engine, whatever that may mean. Welsh Pony was the first train off with nearly 80 ton. She made it up to Dinas and we thought that she had won. At Fairley's little wonder started on the job. 200 tons and more he pulled along the Maddox cob. We're going to Port Maddox, we're going to see the trials. Everyone's on holiday, the people travelled miles. The railway's got this loco, the queerest ever seen. A fairly duplex engine, whatever that may mean. Now dignitaries from all the world saw history turn a page Fairly's little wonder, gracing narrow gauge Now gather round your quarrymen, raise your glasses high The great fest in your railway will never ever die We're going to Port Mother, we're going to see the trials Everyone's on holiday, the people travel miles The railway's got this loco, the queerest ever seen The fairly duplex engine, whatever that may mean The fairly duplex engine, a miracle in steam